CityBus is looking to change its source of fuel. News 18's Elizabeth Rentschler joins us with why that is and how soon this change could take place. Elizabeth. Well, Gina, it's all about saving money, and that's exactly why city bus officials are considering making the switch from diesel fuel to natural gas. They say it's a decision that would not only save them money, but be better for the environment. Many cities around the country have done is reduce service uh, to make uh, ends meet. And reducing service is something City Bus General Manager Marty Sennett doesn't ever want to do. That's why, in order to cut costs, the company is looking to switch its fuel source from diesel to natural gas. We looked at things that were a little bit within our control, and the fuel cost is one of them. The idea was proposed to City Bus about one year ago when a Purdue student and ag economist Professor Wally Tyner decided to do some research. We did a complete model of the City Bus system 73 buses, the lifetime of the buses, the operating cost of each one, the environmental impacts of each one, and we summarized all that over a 15 to 25 year life period. And what they found, Tyner says, is the decision to go with natural gas could be better for not only the company but the city. But over a 20 year life period, uh, there's a good chance, about a three-quarter chance, that you're going to save money using this new system and a certainty that it's going to be environmentally cleaner. While it's an idea that could eventually save money, both Tyner and Senate agree the upfront cost isn't cheap. In fact, it costs about four million dollars just to build the fueling station, but both agree the benefits could eventually outweigh the cost. Now, the switch to natural gas isn't necessarily a done deal. In fact, Marty Sennett tells me they're still in the final planning stages of this proposal. Once those proposals are finalized, it will be put in front of the board of directors. The board of directors will ultimately have the final decision in whether or not they'll make the switch. That decision is set to be made sometime early this summer. Reporting live in Lafayette tonight, Elizabeth Wrenchler.